February is an art month. There is an ongoing art exhibit at Ayala Mall, Marikina Heights. So, I'm interested. Mm, mapuntahan nga itong uh, art exhibit na to. So, let's go! Fernando, medyo malayo-layo pa tayo So, rest muna for a while So, approximately uh, mga 10 minutes na doon na tayo Okay, na along hill Fernando na tayo So, uh, layo-layo pa, more than uh, 5 kilometers papunta doon Lapit na yun sa San Mateo Eh, hey, konti lang sasakyan dito. Sarap umahon. Sarap mag-exercise pag umaga dito. Right, we're here at our destination. So, wala nang parking doon sa ilalim. Sa taas na. So, hopefully, uh, walang mangyari dito sa bike ko. So, marami akong tatanggalin dito para iwas na ako. Pwede na lagyan ng ano eh, patibong eh. So, tinanggalan ko ng seat post Tax seat lamp Para di manakaw yung uh, bike ko So, pwede lang lagyan natin ng ano eh GPS or trap Para Para yung magnanakaw eh Ano na
All right, after strolling that mall, especially sa mga paintings na inisa-isa ko pa, okay, I have selected top 10 paintings na magaganda for me. Okay, for me only, ha? And this painting or those painting ay may uh, maganda yung kanilang ano, eh, uh, composition and pagtingin mo is... Uh, Madali na lang siyang uh, explain. And, syempre, in the artist perspective, so, sa mga gawa nila, okay, in their perspective, you can, uh, they have their own explanation. Alright? So, here are my top 10 best painting. Okay? First, we have The Glass Heart by Raymark Bernal. Okay, dito sa painting niya to, uh, it's like a color wheel na umiikot yung uh, color all around the canvas. And, you can see the composition, it's, uh, and also the rhythm of the painting. Okay, but uh, this painting, it's, uh, it can, uh, hindi siya masakit sa mata. Okay. So, it's like a uh, uh, rainbow going around the canvas. Okay? So, next one, we have number 9. We have Perfectly Imperfect. So, this painting uh, is inspired by a uh, gothic period. Okay? If you uh, remember my uh, lectures about... Uh, Okay, nasa dulo ng dila ko what nung art ba itong na na-discuss ko uh, at my uh, history of art. Oh yes, it's medieval painting. Okay? So, kaya tinawag na perfectly imperfect, okay? Let's say it's circle, perfect circle siya. Pero, imperfect because of hindi uh, natin alam kung uh, one of those lines ay uh, sabihin na natin is uh, not equal, hindi pantay. Okay? Nakatago lang siya within that perfect circle. Okay? Also, the rhythm. Maganda yung rhythm. Meron siyang uh, repetition around it. And, it's uh, eye-catching siya. Okay? We have next one. Number 8, Ma Cheni or Maria Cheni. Oh, sorry. Maria Cherry or Ma Cherry by Vanessa Bautista. Okay. It's, uh, it's an uh, abstract. Okay. Well, actually, ang abstract, medyo may pa ipaliwan. Nasa perspective talaga ng artist yun eh. Pag ipapaliwan, ipapaliwanag. So, next one, we have... Sigrid in Georgia by Josephine Gomez. This is a uh, still life uh, painting. And as you can see, the painting of a woman. Okay? Maliit siya, pero it's very detailed. Okay? And also the the background, the details. Ayan. Nakikita niyo yung, uh, yung brush strokes na very fine. Maliliit talaga yung Kung mo sa mala, it's like a uh, picture. Okay. So, we have number 6. We have The Quaint by Renante Machenzo. This is a, uh, what I call, mixed media art. Okay. When you say mixed media, ito yung mga pinaghalo-halong, uh, it's either coloring materials or pinaghalo-halong, naglagay ka ng mga texturized like wood. Ito, may wood talaga ito. Okay, it's a carved wood, then painted. It's like 
3D. 3D effect. Next, we have Mac Ray, the fourth. This is a, uh, I think this is a self-portrait made by Michael Ray Seraposa. Okay, it's like a, like the painting of a uh, Rembrandt. Yan. Yakin na natin si Rembrandt. Lalo sa kanyang magawang uh, self-portrait. Yan. So, saan saan na uh, period itong si Rembrandt? Lalo nyo, especially students, saan period itong si uh, Rembrandt? Is it sa Baroque or Neoclassical? Comment down in the comment section. <laughs> okay, we have number four. Okay, you're familiar with this? Till that do us part. Okay, this is the a scene from Titanic. Jack and Jill. Ah, sorry, Jack and Rose. And this is uh, after uh, lumubog ng uh, Titanic. And as you can see, the composition of the color. Anong color ginamit ito? Blue, black, and white. Okay? So, three colors lang ginamit ng artist ito. It's made by John Real Cudillo. It's, uh, kung titignan niyo itong uh, painting na to, it's uh, realism ang kanyang uh, pagkagawa. It's, uh, kung, and, kuwang-kuha niya yung scene ng gabi or night time. That's, uh, alam na naman natin, alam natin, na gabi or madaling araw yata lumubog yung uh, Titanic. Okay. Next one, we have number three. Oy, magandang pasok parang uh, related sa akin to, ah. <laughs> Learn to rest, not to quit by J.P. Victor. Okay, this is a. Uh, I think JP is a. Uh, so JP is a cyclist also. Okay, so I think uh, isa dun is a bike niya. Okay, learn to rest, not to quit. And sa pagbabike, kailangan din natin magpahinga pag pagod na pagod na tayo. Okay, pag hindi na kaya, pahinga. Okay, pag hindi na kaya, okay, pwede na tayong bumalik. Okay, sabi nga ni Mr. Kim Achenza, kung magbabike ka, dapat hanggang saan lang ang kaya mo. Huwag mong uh, ipupush through. Yung huwag kang lalagpas sa iyong uh, limit. Okay? Know your limit. Okay? Sa kanyang painting, syempre, okay. Yung pagkagawa na hindi basta-basta itong uh, pag-painting ng mga bike. Kung makikita nyo, yung spokes, the wheels. Okay? Very detailed. And very uh, ano ba tawag dito uh, maganda yung uh, alignment maganda yung it's proportional right so we have uh, the details of the railings okay mga damo alright very uh, smooth yung uh, painting okay we have number 2 okay by bayanihan by bayin or by Bayanihan by Erwell Rabino okay it's uh kung may kita nyo dito sa painting sa to it's uh, realism okay but if you can see uh, may mga tato itong mga kamay na to it's uh, I think this symbolizes the tribes in the Philippines okay uh, these tribes are uh it's more on unity. Okay? Tayo, it's like, parang pinapakita dito, tayong mga Pilipino, dapat nagkakaisa at walang division kung anong mga sa tayo nanggaling. Tayo may, uh, kung anong tribe man pinanggalingan natin, kung anong region. Okay, we should uh, have a, uh, we should uh, be united. Right? So, that's number two. And, for the top one, Rusty Truck Series number one by Mr. Martin Chodoro. Okay, it's a vintage truck and take a look at that painting. It's uh, another detailed painting, realism, especially pagkagawa ng mga rust. Okay, it's uh, talagang kuwang-kuwang yung kulay ng rust. Then yung uh, 
lights and shadow na tinatawag natin. Okay, kung nasaan yung uh, lights, nasaan yung uh, shadow, yung dark portion, it's a uh, kuang kuha niya. Kung titignan mo itong sa malayo, it's uh, paint, this painting, it's like kaya uh, parang kinuna lang ng uh, picture. Alright, that is my top 10 choices of painting at that art exhibit in that mall. So, if you haven't subscribed to my uh, YouTube channel, you may click the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you will be updated in my posts. Okay, marami akong mga videos na in-upload dito, especially art education para sa mga students at sa mga gustong matuto. We have bike adventure, syempre sa mga more on uh, nature tayo at mga places na hindi kaya nga puntahan ng mga four wheels. Okay? That's uh, and bike adventure is good exercise for our health and meron din tayo mga speed painting paano paggawa ng mga gantong art like especially my specialty is uh, more on uh, anime and some are uh, painting so that's all and thank you and may god bless us all